Hi there, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. Let's talk about the big, massive black hole in the center of the galaxy now. I know you're all afraid of it, so let's see if you need to be. Let's look for the evidence for the black hole in the center of our galaxy. So if we look in the direction of the center of a galaxy, we need to look in the infrared so that we can see through all, through all this dust. We can look in infrared, we can look in radio, that also allows us to see through the dust. And let's zoom in to the center of the galaxy and zoom in some more and look at the gas, swirling gas in the center of the galaxy and then start to zoom so much more that we can start to resolve the stars near the center of the galaxy. So notice that this, we zoomed enough that this here is one light year, all right? And now we're going to zoom in even more and we'll look at the stars that are closest to this position where we believe there is a certain, there is a, a, a black hole. So the evidence for the black hole comes from observation of galax uh, observations of stars, excuse me, that are moving around something, and they are moving very fast, faster than, than we could expect from any mass that we see in there. So these are observations that go from, if you look here, 1995. This is a UCLA group that has uh, data that has observed all the stars and also made predictions to where they will be in the future. So you see that it ends at 2011. All right. So we see that there is a central region where all the stars seem to be orbiting. It's not it, it's not 100% clear because the orbits are not all in the same plane. They're in different planes, all right? But once you deproject that, you can see that they are all going around this point here that's marked as a star. Now, again, we can remember that the, the, the mass, the relationship between how fast something is moving and how far away it is from a certain object depends on the mass. So something very massive will make an object move faster than something not so massive. So we can use the orbits of all the stars to compute the mass of the object right there. When we do that, we, come, we, we find out that there is about 4 million times the mass of the sun in a region that couldn't possibly fit that many stars. And add to that the fact that we don't really see them, don't see anything in there. So in a very small region, there seems to be a big, massive object that has four million times the mass of the sun. Okay. Another piece of evidence for the existence of black hole, uh, for black hole in the center of the galaxy, is that if we observe in X-rays, every now and then there is a, there are bursts of X-rays in that direction, which seem to indicate that there is material falling inside the black hole. As the material gets closer and closer to the black hole, it's more and more accelerated. It heats up, and as it heats up, it emits x-rays. So every now and then there are, there are bursts in x-ray. Now four million times the mass of the sun is a pretty big number. Now let's see how big this number really is. So four million solar masses, let's compare that with the mass of the Milky Way. And this is a lower estimate in the mass of the Milky Way, okay? Just to be safe. So very lower mass in the mass, uh, very lower limit in the mass of the Milky Way would be 100 billion solar masses. All these millions and billions probably get you a little bit dizzy. So I'll translate that to 100,000 million solar masses. All right. So let's compare this 100,000 with the four. After all, it's all million solar masses. So four is much smaller than 100,000, right? Four is a small fraction of 100,000. So the mass of the black hole in the center of the galaxy is only a very small fraction of the total mass of our galaxy, all right? So it's really, it's big, but it's really not that big. In the, in the scale of the galaxy. 
Now, we can think about it in another way. Let's think about the size of this. How easy is it to fall into that black hole? How big is it? How we so the mass of the black hole, again, has, is about 4 million solar masses. This is an updated, uh, updated measurement. So your, your book actually may still have it about 3. But, but regardless, it's about 4 million solar masses. That means that the radius of that black hole, the radius of the event horizon, is 12 million kilometers. Remember, 3 kilometers for each mass of the sun. 12 million kilometers seems like a really big distance. But let's try to put that in context again. How much is, tw how much is 12 million kilometers? This is just 10% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. All right? So it would fit, so the black hole would easily fit inside the solar system, would fit inside the inner solar system. All right? So the, the black hole is very massive and big but not really if you think about it in terms of how big the galaxy is, all right? The chances to get too close to a black hole that is just, that it's smaller than the solar system is, are really slim, all right? And you know that you need to get really close to the black hole to be sucked in. Therefore, you're pretty safe. Just keep that distance from the black hole. And and I hope that brings to perspective the importance of the black hole in the study of our galaxy. It's not really that big because it's a very small component of our galaxy. All right? So stop having nightmares with the black hole. And I'll see you next time. Bye.